I was quite sure that the gods would bring me into their squabbles about what to do with Aethys. If they cannot stop him and require me to try and reason with him, then they had no choice but to reach out to me. I'm just glad I was only there for a small part of their meeting, and not for the entire thing. I don't need to hear them fighting with each other. It's like a bunch of drunken sailors who are accusing each other of stealing each other's copper. It would just not ever end, and it promises to get real loud. Now that that part is over with, it just makes me feel all the more secure in my choice to help Aethys destroy the wheel. I don't believe we will all end up in the in-between as they said we would. There was reincarnation before the wheel, otherwise life wouldn't have taken place here on Aeora. There were kith and civilizations on this world before they decided to create themselves and the wheel at the same time, which by the way also destroyed Ukaizo and created Andra's Mortar. So they are full of it when they say it will all be over. I want them to all be over, and for us kith to control our own destiny. Reincarnation may not be as smooth as it was with the wheel, but it did happen before the wheel, and it will happen again. The gods only seem to impart knowledge upon us that they want us to have in order to further their agenda. If we knew all that they knew, the entire world would be different overnight. We don't need them, but they need us. That much is clear. I think it's time that we just let them go. Here, back in the real world, on some isolated reef full of crashed ships, I have an island to explore. So far, it's kind of like the old city under Nekataka, a place of undead. I always seem to find myself in these kinds of places. We are exploring some island down in the far southeast of the dead fire far south to the southeast of nekataka we just were given a nice welcome by a vampire and a bunch of dark wolves which we promptly slew so not knowing exactly what to expect down here we're to search for the remnants of the antelope which is a ship uh i met the captain named the island lofel described his lofel is the name of the captain a hundred ships must erect upon this reef and he wants us to find his. Okay, so we were heading west towards his boathouse. Perhaps it would have been smart to go and look for survivors first. That did seem like there was maybe a ship that was still active to the east. Mm -hmm. But it's a little mm -hmm. too late for that. We're here. Just see what we can find. Ring of Minor Protection. Well, we found a few of these. Silver finning. So I think I'm going to try to outfit yeah. Constant and, and Fasina to come out with us. Nobody be home. Fucking surprise, that. I wouldn't be living here neither. Each blade is pitted through with rust, so I take this has all been here for a long time. Rainwater has gathered in these jugs, and these in turn fill the ship with their briny odor. Lovely. Yeah, it's all rotting. It's all going bad here. These cuirasses have been picked over for parts. The pages nearby are covered in scrawl designs for a helm. There's a dog here. What are you doing here? Come with me. I want you to turn into one of those undead dogs like we encountered. Svef? Well, is this truly all there is here? Maybe somebody else on the island will want us to come out this way for some reason again. But this is all we've seen, so... Let's go to this other place. Take us almost two hours to get over there, walking around the wharf that they've made. People who have been stuck here, they couldn't fix their ships up, so they made wharfs. You yeah, some of Up on the balcony, a tall, lanky figure waves frantically for frantically, frantically for my attention. That done, he ducks down again behind the railing. It is not an effective hiding place. Oh, there's some survivors here, but they're not alive. Skeletons. This is supposed to be like a 
tavern? I think I'm dreaming. Huh? This is a very bad dream. Plus, look at the floor. It's all full of blood. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to be careful while we're here. In places I come to see. Sure. Tell you. What's in here? Palm slats. I do hope we're not on the menu. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Do you speak, skeleton? It just stands there. Just so. arrived. I'll wager you the thirst. Yeah, well, not for blood. Oh, there's a there's a woman, a kith, upside down. What's going on here, man? Drink, sir. The man at the bar goes about his business in merry defiance of the fact that he appears to be semi-decomposed. Behind him, a dwarf hangs upside down over a barrel. Blood streams down into the bucket from a wound in his wrist. Uh, from time to time, the dwarf twitches feebly. Ain't got much on the menu, truth be told, but an ale ought to hold you over until Zulka and her people turn up with supplies. Then you can enjoy the catch of the day. Oh, there's the dwarf. There's a woman. And a dwarf there. Here, newcomer. First drinks on the ass. He pours from a nearby pitcher, filling a goblet with an unmistakable red liquid, thick and dark. The compre odor hits my nostril with force. The barkeeper slides the goblet across the bar towards me. Ugh. Hmm. Are you mad? I'm not drinking blood. What? How dare you? My ale's the best in the dead fire. The barkeeper snatches back the goblet, fixing a scowl on me that's all the more horrific for his grisly aspect. Okay, well, I feel like slaughtering everything that's here. These people need to be freed. Wait, there is some real ale here. A kith meat, I'm not taking that. Okay, well, this undead thing upstairs. Dar ghouls as well, not just skeletons. And regular ghouls. That copperhead is a strange one. This is a quiet little town, but we love it that way. Mariner's Porridge. Copperhead. You're Copperhead. Good, good. I thought for sure you'd wander off. Get yourself into trouble. I feel like causing trouble here. The man before me, or creature, perhaps, as his skin is as grayed and withered as that of the other patrons, wears a helmet two sizes too large for him. It tips from side to side as his head moves. I'm Copperhead. That's what they call me. Friendly nicknames. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you're different from the others. I can see it. Of course I'm different. Everyone in here is rotting away. Shh, keep your voice down. <laughs> Yelling your head off like a little baby lamb in the woods. <laughs> Might as well be hollering, eat me, eat me! <laughs> Wait, why is the lamb in the woods? Adair glances back at me with a scrunched face. Uh, it's not safe here. And not where everyone's looking, listening. I have a house, out on the outskirts. They don't mind me keeping to myself. We can talk there. Okay. I just want to hear what's going on. I'll hear him out. Very well, I'll meet you there. Look out for the ones in charge. Them with the staffs. They spy you. Things will get bad in a hurry. Zulka. Especially she. I have to go. Zulka. Is she the one that's creating all these undead? A woman strides into the tavern, bearing a staff whose ornamental head glows with arcane energy. She strikes the staff upon the ground, once, and the tavern fills with eerie light as the runes carved upon each vessel's forehead begin to glow. Zoka mutters something under her breath, and a faint aura ripples around the two bound kith standing behind her. That done, she makes a sweeping gesture of the arm, with all the showmanship of a theater performer. Menzago has brought you a feast, my friends. Livestock and game. Tonight, we eat well. Everyone in the tavern cheers as the kith are carted into a back room. Copperhead, you are not staying for the celebration? 
Copperhead freezes mid-slink, grinning insipidly. Not today, Zulka. I've had my fill, really. Another mouthful and I'll split down the seams. He bobs his head in a feeble bow, then scuttles away. Zoka's attention drifts back toward the crowd. And if we go out there... We got trouble, folks. Zoka's there. We'll have to sneak if we want to get out of here without a fight. I'm curious to know what Copperhead had to say. It seems to me that the other kith, you know, or sorry, the other the undead, undead kith, they uh, don't really even acknowledge us for the most part. So we'll try sneaking. In the lantern. We've all been practicing our stealth skills to get around places just such as this. Zolka is coming. When Zolka moves, go, 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 go. Need to, oh. Zolka's now staring over there. Hey, okay, we seem to make it out. Where are we supposed to go, by the way? Dwelling at the outskirts of town to the west. So it must have been the place we just were. Boathouse. I hope so, or it could be the Sea Lash Crypt. No, it's good. It's here. Copperhead's here. Oh, good, you're here. What's this about? Is there a way to turn all these undead against Zolka? Over here. Over here. Mind your step. I've, uh, collected things. Spent years collecting. He waves a hand vaguely at the collection of detritus that lines each surface and corner of his makeshift abode. I've always been curious. There are so many ships out there on the reef. I could dive down, see what I found. It was beautiful down there. A hundred stories, and I read them piece by piece. Nothing like the helmet. And nothing's been the same since the helmet. I put it on. I'll get glimpses of what this place really is. He leans forward, looking left and right with conspiratorial glee. A ship's graveyard, teeming with the dead. The, the not dead. The still alive. I know, I can see through the illusion just fine. Yeah, well, the dream only works on folk what have this symbol on their heads. I didn't see it till I got the helmet on. And all of us, dead or something like it. Feeding off the living to stay alive a little longer. Hmm. Okay. Why would anyone go through all that trouble to keep a town full of dead people trapped in an illusion? I can't see as to what we've been charmed for. But I know it's got something to do with the crypt. Oh. That's where Menzago is. The man in charge of this place. And where Lucia Ravan's old keep used to be. Lucia Ravan's? Any time new settlers turn up, they come out of that place. When they start to lose their senses, get too hungry, that's where they get taken. The strongest get fed to Menzago's most loyal servants, the Protectors. The rest of the kith, they bleed slow in the tavern. Once in a while, the Protectors treat us to a whole body. Copperhead hangs his head, trailing off. Point is... Whatever they're doing to keep us living in this little fantasy, it's got to be in there somewhere. The same Ravane that captains the floating hangman? I don't know the ship, but Ravane's supposed to be some great captain. She founded this place, made it what it is now. Living a fantasy has to be better than finding out you're a rotting corpse. What? and play out the rest of our lives in someone else's demented little story. They're the truth in a silly little dream. At least it's our truth. All right, I'll have a look at the crypt. Hold on, you can't just walk on in. It's guarded. Really, really well guarded. Oh, don't tell me that I have to become undead to be able to go in there. You have any ideas? 
The guards don't really leave their posts, unless the hunters are back with fresh meat. But them got a schedule. They come and go as they please. Maybe you can create a diversion? Me? Yeah, all right. I can do that. I can help. I'll meet you out there. Hmm. So, we have to go to the Sea Lash Crypt, huh? Okay. I think I got turned around. It's the weirdest thing. You all look like corpses. After him. <laughs> what was I thinking? Ah! Okay, well, he is pretty unique for something that's undead. I'll give him that. <laughs> okay, well, here we are. Right. We'll mushrooms do. over here. Blood moss. That's well, moss, not mm. mushrooms. All right, so we can't just go charging in. There's too many of them, huh? Maybe we can try sneaking. Nice and slow. Where is Copperhead? We are not alone. I see. It's a vampire. There's more over there. There's another vampire. Foes ahead. Yes. Kill it fast. I did not kind the spell speak. A dare. A loth. A loth. Come on. Hey, the skeletons don't last very long. Basically one hit. Okay. Focus on the vampires. Everybody focus on the vampires. Feared her. She has to die. Let's go. Okay, I've distracted a lot of these darghouls or ghouls, al ghouls. Okay, so there's one full uh, uh, vampire with basically unhurt. You won't show him the whip feather yet. We'll try to stop her in time, trap her in time, so she's out of the fight for a little bit. Okay, one vampire left. There's a dark ghoul. I'll go left. We focus on one at a time. We'll bring them down fast. Dead. Next one. This one's still trapped in time. Now she's back. That didn't last very long. She's a powerful one. I hit her and I get knocked back. Oh, Adair, I didn't know you actually fell. I missed that. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Zoom. Lava Rufion Zik. Oh, okay, that's just nasty. I really hate those tentacles. Yeah. Oh, we did it. That's still quite a lot. They have these vampire quarterstaffs. They're superb quality. And we sell them for a good amount of money. Moderate healing. It's this. Cave coral. So Aloth is a little hurt. Shorty is a little hurt from before. Mm -hmm. She didn't. Uh, that injury still hadn't fully healed. It seems we can go in now. What's this? Fine robe, flint and tinder, and some golden sewell. What will we find inside here? Who knows, but we will have to start searching this crypt. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.